Hello students, uh, welcome to short of sir classes. So this question is from ISI MSTAT 2022. So we will be solving the question number one and the solution has been prepared by the uh, faculty of uh, ISI, this uh, short of sir classes of this particular ISI MSTAT paper. So the question number one is uh, let x j, j is greater than or equal to one be a sequence of uh, positive numbers in geometric progression so we have this x j that j is equal to less greater than or equal to one and p n b denote the product of the first n terms of x j so the product of first n terms okay next which of the following statement is true for n equal to greater than equal to one now we have the xj is given the sequence where j is greater than or equal to 1 so for the common ratio uh, we can write this so let the let the common ratio be r so then xj can be written as xj is equal to x of 1 r of j minus 1 so pn is the product of the first n terms so thus we can write this pn simply as p of n is equal to x1 dot dot up to xn so this of the so if we write this in this form with this common ratio so we can write x1 then it is x1 dot of x1 r and the last term will be x of n r to the power n minus 1 so from here we can write this if we take x to the power n out so we will have r of r to the power 1 plus up to n minus 1 so what will be this summation so it will be x to the power n x1 to the power n and it will be simply summation of 1 to n minus 1 so r to the power n into n minus 1 by 2 so that is the p of n next we have the options so let's go with the option first is given so no so first of all we have find this p n so next uh, uh, so what will be the p of 2 n it is simple from here we can write so it will be x of 1 to the power 2 n r of 2 n 2 n minus 1 by 2 and what will be the p of 3 n So p of 3n is given will be as x1 to the power 3n r to the power 3n 3n minus 1 by 2 right now first option is given that pn multiplied by p of 2n okay. so what is pn and p of 2n so if we multiply this to uh, power this uh, product term so it will be given as x of 1 3 n then it will be r to the power n into n minus 1 by 2 plus 2 n 2 n minus 1 by 2 okay so which if simplify it further so it will be x 1 to the power 3 n so it will be r to the power n by 2 so it will be n minus 1 plus 4 n minus 1 right so we will have only this x to the power uh, x 1 to the power 3 n then it is r to the power n by 2 5 n minus 3 which is incorrect right so then we have so the second option so it is given as uh, p 2 n half to the power p is p n square so if we find that what will be the uh, option number b so if we find p of 2 n to the power half so what it will be it will be simply x 1 to the power n r of n r to the power n 2n minus 1 
by 2 right so that will be the p2 n to the power half and what will be the p n square so p n square will be simply x1 to the power 2 n r to the power 2 n n minus 1 by 2 now if we multiply these two so this p to n half and p n square then we will have only x1 to the power 3n r to the power n by 2 so if we took this n by 2 out of this so it will be 2n minus 1 plus of 2n minus 2 which will be simple x1 to the power 3n r of n by 2 4n minus 3 right so we have this 5n minus 3 over here 4n minus 3 and this is the original this is the pn in this is will be in this form so if we check with the third option so this is also incorrect so if we check with the third option so let us see so we have this p of 2n cube by p of n so here we will have x to the power 1 6 n r to the power 6 n by 2 2 n minus 1 by so p n cube it will be x 1 to the power 3 n r to the power 3 n by 2 n minus 1 right so from if you simplify this it will be x 1 to the power 3 n right then it will be r to the power 3 n by 2 okay. it will be 4 n minus 2 minus of n plus 1 so here we can write this is x n x 1 to the power 3 n then r to the power 3 n by 2 3 n minus 1 which is nothing but this p of so we got the correct option in our case so the right option will be option 3 option C so for n greater than equal to 1 this option will be correct option will be C question number 2 that suppose that f which is a mapping from in a real space the differentiable non decreasing uh, function whose derivative is given uh, this f uh, prime is continuous so fix a less than b and let s is given as x of which is an element in the b a and b and f of prime x is equal to 0 okay so then f a and f a minus this f a is less than f b if and only if so you have to find the condition so here it is given that f of prime uh, is uh, 0 this f of prime x is 0 so for x in the an element of s right so we have this condition that f of a is less than f of b so for that we can write this x is belong to the element of a and b so we cannot say that f of f prime x is not equal to 0 if f of a is less than a f of b then for that condition s is a proper subset of a comma b okay so here uh, the correct option will be option c so this s is a proper subset of a comma b